Yo, what is up flippers? I have another very exciting unboxing for you all today. On this one, we're going to take a look at the Zippy Ballas song. This is actually his first ever official drop. I caught it. I found uh, I found his product during his first ever drop and I was checking it out and uh, watching the models sell out and I was like, you know what? I have to grab one. So uh, yeah, this is a very unique uh, 3D design. I think it's 3D printed. I asked him a whole bunch about it. I actually talked to uh, the owner through Instagram. He's a really nice guy. Uh, he uh, went into great detail about the process. It was really cool. I really liked hearing about it. Uh, I am going to have to reread probably through his messages because there is a lot to read at once. And I was at work and uh, couldn't read it all. But yeah, here we have number 23. Number 23 of the official models. I think he said he made about 36 of these. Sorry for the short bag. <laughs> Work in progress. Cool. So he left a little, a little note from David there. That is the owner. Uh, bag is a little short. It doesn't quite fit it. But... That's all right. This is actually a really cool bag. I really like the outside. Let me, uh, all right, let's do the unveiling here. Ooh, very nice. I'm trying to see if there's any play. If you can hear any like blade tap, excuse me, tap, not play. I don't think so. I think all I hear is just some of the hardware and stuff moving around in there. Um, yeah, this is a really cool little pouch. Uh, I might find uh, another little sheath to throw this in since it doesn't quite fit all the way in there, but I'll definitely uh, use this for something else. Uh, let's take a look in here. We have little plastic spacers that go on the handles. I'll show you more on that later in a second. And a uh, little tool for the pivots, I'm assuming here. And that's really cool. He gives you the number that, uh, the number of, uh, of the model that, uh, that was made. Uh, so this grip, it's pretty nice. Uh, hmm. I feel it could get a little slippery with some sweat, but it really has a good amount of grip. All right, this is gonna be the first, uh, first flip. So I'm gonna try to fan it first and see how that goes. Wow, that feels really nice for fanning. Whoa, really lightweight, really lightweight, wow. This feels lighter than the Squiddy for some reason. Um, I think the handles in the Squiddy are, uh, I think the handles in the Squiddy feel a little like heavier up here, I think. Oh, I don't know. Let me flip this a little more. Let me get a... Oh. Um, first thing I'll say, uh, you'll probably be wanting to make this tang pin a little bit bigger, just so you don't get that, that handle slap. Here, let me see if I can get it. Oh, whoops. Yeah, you can hear that handle slap when I go to grab the, uh, the ice pick. Ooh. 
Hmm. So yeah, this is a uh, very interesting. I believe there should be all the weights and the handles already. But uh Yeah, it has a good balance, but the weight kind of feels weird in the in the handles. I don't know how to describe it, so. So that's play with a little bit of pressure, just minor amount, but as you can see, I can kind of bend it out. But I mean, that's expected to be with, that's to be expected, excuse me, with any uh, plastic ballast song. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to uh, pause the camera here in a second, maybe try to set it up, uh, set it up while I take this apart and look inside see uh see how those plastic uh oh how those plastic uh inserts will feel in the handle hmm so there's supposed to be magnets inside of these handles i think that are that repel from each other uh It almost doesn't feel like they're in there. So right now, I think uh, I think what it is is these ball bearings up here gives it a weird balance to where the weight is focused more up here when it should be focused down here at the bottom of the handles. Um, I do really like this design, like the grip with the, the little ball bearing looking things in there. Um, however, I think that is uh, attributing to the reason why I, this thing feels a little weird to me. You know, apart from the uh, the plastic design, yeah, this is really fun. You can take this out in public, not get bothered. Has some customization. Oops. Yeah, this is really fun. Takes some getting used to, of course. Uh, Yeah, I really like the white and black uh, yin and yang looking handles here. And then I really like the, the red blade on top of that. Looks really nice. That'll be a good thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, this will probably be it for the unboxing and then I'll probably upload another video, separate video, uh, taking it apart and looking, taking an in-depth look inside. My initial impressions, this the balance is actually really good. Like as you can see, I'm fanning really well. Um, everything else is good. Um, yeah, so my only, uh, I wouldn't even, I guess you can call them complaints, suggestions, whatever. Uh, would be maybe make that that uh, that tang nipple, zen nipple. I think it's a zen nipple. Whatever it's called, make that nipple a little bit bigger. I think and just give it like 
honestly, if you had some handle gap like like that even, that would look pretty sexy. I think I I personally like handle gap, and um, this material is actually really strong. I was gonna say you you could you know start off like that, so if it ends up beating that material in, you have some more room to fall in. But I don't think that you'll you'll be uh, you know like beating into this material at all it's pretty strong from what i've seen so yeah i think if you just make the handle gap like like that even that would be perfect um and then the weight i don't know what really you could do here maybe you could leave these two right right here up front remove this one right here and then put it like more back here um, I think that will improve the, the balance a lot. I'd be really interested in to see how, how much of a difference that would make. But, uh, yeah, this is really cool design, man. Really fun flipper. Really fast. Super grippy, too, like. The material and whatever finish is on these handles is really nice. Um, he has a really cool bite handle indicator. Uh, I guess that would be another um, another improvement you could do. I mean, this is fine for now. Let me see if I let me see how it feels. Yeah, that's actually fine. Eh, it, okay, so these are a little big. I like. Um, for example here, I like bite ind indicators, um, but I like it when it's subtle like that. So, you know, I can still technically chaplain on it. Pretty much no issues if I want to. Um, but on this one, I can still chaplain, but because of the, the big uh, teeth there, it will kind of get caught up on my finger if I, uh, just like that. Uh, <clears throat> so that is just another suggestion for uh, for another little improvement there but as your v1 like first official design this is this is really cool man I really like it wish I was better at flipping so I could showcase it a little better you know but oh man my oh, I'm sorry about that uh Stupid fire alarm, man. We we changed the battery. Um, it stopped for like 10 minutes, and then it went back on. So, I don't know. It's just been on and off, basically, and we need to call the... We need to get that fixed. So, uh, so yeah. That was the uh, unboxing first impressions for the Zippy Balasong Zipper. This battle song is called The Zipper. I don't think I, I said that actually in the beginning. Um, yeah, really cool design. Always love to see new uh, innovations, improvements, new uh, designs in the battle song world. So, yeah, look out for that uh, in-depth look coming soon on this, on this little ballet. Uh, I believe it uh, actually weighs the exact same... It weighs the exact same amount as the Squiddy. I think they're both 2.6 ounces, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, go follow Zippy Bell Song on Instagram. And uh, yeah, pick one up if you're interested. Really cool, really fun flippers. Really modular. You can uh, change out the weights down here. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this one. Thanks for watching flippers. I'll see you in the next one